And I, I want to reinforce your point about Rick Perry and being there 10 years and uh, what has gone on. In fact, uh, many years ago, um, I did an open records request because somebody told me that uh, Governor Perry had put a Mexican citizen over Texas-Mexico uh, relations. I believe that was the name of it. I couldn't believe it. I did an open records request, and absolutely it was true. And I have the information I provided here uh, for Kathy today. Well, that mentality bothers me, and I'm, I'm sure it bothers everybody. Look in the Chronicle. Uh, you can uh, pull it up. There was an article about it because Perry's office threatened me after they gave me the information uh, from the open records request demanding that I turn in everybody that saw the information, which that's how it ended up on the front page of the Chronicle. But more to the point, why would you put a Mexican citizen over Texas-Mexico affairs? Who do you think she's working for? Yes, you, you can only have allegiance to one country. My allegiance is to America, first, last, and always. And uh, you're a citizen of another state, another nation, then of course your allegiance is there. It's, I don't even think this is a case of a divided allegiance. It's a sole allegiance to a foreign power. No tax uh, job, no state job, employment should go to anyone other than a, someone who is a citizen of the state of Texas and the United States. So that person, by taking that job, self-identified, and they would fall into the category of people that I say deserve an escort. Okay. Now let's, more to the point. What will happen to Texas if your plan is not implemented? Well, we'll get more of the same. Security. We'll get more of the same, and even worse. It's escalating, and it is increasing not just in numbers, but the, the character, the nature of what's happened has changed. It's violence now. It's not just uh, people coming here for a better life and trying to get a job, and the worst thing they're doing is taking a job away from an American citizen. That's not what's going on there. This is violence uh, and illegal cartels, coming up. There are places at the border that they have set up shop on our side of the border, in American soil, that our authorities are telling us, don't go there, American citizens, on your own land because it's not safe. Like well, in Arizona. Yes. Yeah. Now, this, this has to stop. And it will be, it may be in Arizona now, but it is going to be, I've heard in Texas, around Falcon Lake, that they are taking over some, uh, uh, not abandoned, but uh, unused large tracts of land and just setting up shop. Why? For what purpose? I'm not sure, but it's not for any good purpose. We need to get down there and stop it. This is an, an invasion, and we need to repel the invaders as you would any other army from, from a foreign source. Uh, does the Bill White support amnesty? Oh, of course he does. I don't know that he will let those words come out of his mouth, but we know actions speak louder than words. And he supports the DREAM Act, I believe, which is a a amnesty embedded in it. And Rick Perry is, is no better. He may talk uh, a little better, but his actions and his words show that he doesn't mean it. He goes to La Raza, he goes to Mexico and meets with the head of state and says things that should never come out of the mouth of an American, particularly not a governor of the state of Texas. In fact, uh, let's let's talk about, you alluded to it in your website, let's talk about Machete. Tell people about that. Well, this enterprise fund should never, it's a slush fund that uh, the governor, and he has several of them, that the governor uses to reward his friends. And this uh, film, uh, he has a film slush fund to ostensibly to get people to come to Texas to make their films. Well, you don't need an enticement. Texas is a great place to do anything. And they would normally naturally come here. But this machete, I've only seen the trailer of it, and it is horrible. It's, it promotes violence. It promotes uh, violence against Americans. It promotes... Uh, it's a racist yes. film that it has, it has this uh, huge, on the front cover it has this huge uh, Hispanic guy with long hair and, uh, you know, the biceps, and he's got this huge machete dripping with blood, gringo blood, and it's all about how the illegal aliens rise up and kill gringos. And I know it's a piece of fiction, but it promotes Mexico and attacks America. 
And if you want to spend your money to go see that, then I think you're probably sick. But that's your money. But to use Texas state funds to in any way promote this is wrong. And, and it's horrible. my understanding that uh, first the uh, Perry administration denied mm -hmm. that they were funding this. Correct. And they did, and I frankly don't know the truth, but I, I think there's enough evidence to say that we did, we, not, meaning the uh, Texas uh, we taxpayers have, we have funded it. did put some of our money in there, and we never would have done that. And it's part one. Yes. It's part one. They've got more to come. So This is just the sort of thing you'll see more of. You say, what will change or not change right. if the others get in? If you If Rick Perry gets in, after four years, we'll have a continuing deterioration of what we've seen over the last 10 years. He will not change. The leopard will not change his spots. In four years, we'll have a worse border, more violence. We'll have more spending, more taxes, more cronyism. We'll have more violations of our private property rights. This is another part of my platform to end these eminent domain abuses, such as Trans-Texas Corridor. Oh, that yes. thing we definitely need to is talk not about dead. That. It's just sleeping waiting for Rick Perry to get back into office, then it's all systems go. Okay, let's talk about two things in our remaining time. Mm -hmm. Trans-Texas Corridor and the Second Amendment. I met with uh, Turf uh, and Terry Hall down in San Antonio last week, had a very good meeting, had, gave out lots of yard signs to her supporters, and she told me some things that I didn't know about the Trans-Texas Corridor and how much it's actually going into effect. They tell us it's dead. They lie. That people's land had been taken away already under eminent domain for this thing. And if they're sleeping, they're lying behind the log, waiting for this election to be over. And then Rick Perry's going to rev it up again. Tech stock's going to rev it up again. And it's going to be the same thing as we thought we'd be. This is the hard thing to understand, is our side has to be vigilant and win every single time. The other side, Rick Perry's side, only has to win once. And then we've lost our freedom. And for those of you who don't know what the Trans-Texas Corridor is, it's part of a little globalist scheme to go from the end of Latin America all the way to Canada. Uh, and it's going to take only about a half million acres, if I remember right, from Texas ranchers. Four to football fields wide. Divide the state. I mean, and funded by Centra, uh, which is a Spanish concern. Now, uh... We have a little connection here. You remember when Rick Perry endorsed Giuliani. <laughs> well, Giuliani's oh. law firm is involved in uh, the Trans-Texas Corridor. It's the globalist mm -hmm. community. Yes, absolutely. And so, as, she, as you pointed out, this is not dead. This is still going on at the 69 Corridor, I believe. So, they've just renamed it, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Or they may give it a different name. They may alter the root a little bit just to make it, dress it up, make it look different. But the fundamental project is going through because the globalists want it. And Rick Perry is owned by these people. He cannot cross them. That's why he will not close the border. He will not defend our property rights down there. He will not uh, back away from these public-private partnerships because his cronies have him in their pocket. He can't do it. Another thing I say about Rick Perry, I say, okay, if you want a choice, uh, then, then consider this. Do you want to have as your governor Al Gore's campaign manager for the year 2000 in Texas? Or do you want to have Al Gore's Texas campaign manager for the year 1998? That's Rick Perry. He was a Democrat then. And he still is at his heart. He hasn't changed his his uh, fundamental uh, core values. He's not a conservative, and he is tied intimately in this global community that wants no borders and wants uh, uh, elitist businessmen, if you can call them that, uh, to prosper at the uh, expense the, of the people. The free 